Hi, my name is Suyoung Lee, a faculty member of the Graduate School of International Studies at Seoul National University. In this video, I will explain how to use your two-year investment in the GSIS to be successful. I prepared three parts, big picture, ideal timeline, and the list of warning signs indicating that you may make some mistakes. Big picture. I'm a labor economist who uses big data to identify what factors make people, firms, countries successful and productive. From a labor economist point of view, I can tell you whether your stay at the GSIS was successful or not by one simple measure. Does the MA degree from the GSIS help you get the job you wanted but couldn't get it before? If your answer is yes, then you have had a successful time at the GSIS, and if not, that is not the case. I do not deny other positive aspects my school can provide, such as interesting classes, good friendships, and so on. However, you can get those positive aspects somewhere else without spending the money and time for two years at the Jesus. Assuming you agree with my opinion, then this is what you need to do with utmost importance and urgency. At the beginning of your first semester, you should identify what career track you want to pursue. By career track, I mean the occupations or jobs you want to have right after graduating from the GSIS. Be careful to select a track narrow enough to fit your focus and interest, but also wide enough so that if your best plan doesn't work out, you still can pursue the second best option. For example, suppose that your career goal is to work for the World Bank. Unfortunately, the chance to fulfill your goal right after the MA program is very close to zero. And that is because international organizations generally do not employ fresh graduates as full-time employees. Even if you ultimately want to work for the World Bank, you need to set your career track that gives you a job right after getting your degree but helps you to be employed at the World Bank in the future. Once you identify your career track, check out the faculty members at the GSIS. The GSIS website provides CVs of its faculty members and their personal websites. Check out who they are, what they do, and what their students do. Then identify a few professors who you think can help you to get a job in your ideal career track. Your next task is to reach out to those professors and see if any of them will support you and be your thesis advisor. There are several ways that you can make those professors get to know you, think positively about you, and possibly accept you as an advisee. Taking a class is a good strategy, again, as early as possible. Applying for the BK Fellowship TA or RA fellowship under those professor's supervisions is another good strategy. Remember, a professor is willing to be your advisor only if he or she is confident about your capacity to work with him or her. For example, if you take a class given by the professor you want to have, then you should ask questions, give innovative comments during the class so that the professor gets to know you are there and attentive you should ask the professor if he or she can meet with you in one-on-one -on -one meeting and so on. Of course, you should do well in the class. If you're confident that some professors can support your thesis writing, then ask them if one of them can be your thesis advisor. Once you have an advisor, talk to him and her about your career plan, possible thesis topics that can directly helpful in getting the job you want. Ideal timeline. What about the ideal timeline? In your first semester, you have to take a class that teaches you how to write a paper and a class that suits your career track. For example, if you are interested in the finance industry, then you should take courses that teach you statistical tools, but also courses that teach you about finance in your first semester. Besides these two types of courses, participate in seminars, workshops, and so on to broaden your knowledge as well as to identify this is topic of your interest. In your first and second semesters, continue taking classes suiting your career interest and also start experimenting with ideas to see any of them can turn into a thesis topic. This is the time you need to reach out professors actively to see any of them can serve you as a thesis advisor. Between the second and third semester, you should slowly conduct research by checking existing papers replicating some papers, and working with your preliminary ideas to generate results. In your third semester, take courses to fulfill the requirements, 
write a first draft of the thesis, organizing your thesis committee with the help of your advisor, and file for the MA candidacy. During the break between the third and fourth semester, complete your thesis and submit it when your last semester starts. Get feedback from your committee members and then finalize your thesis. During your fourth and last semester, you should devote your chunk of your time to your job search. Common mistakes. As you can see from my explanation, it is extremely important for you to front load your work during the first two semesters. Without knowing who you are and what you want, it is simply impossible for you to have a success in this Jesus MA program. Unfortunately, I have seen many students who did not have a clear vision of their goals and made poor choices one after another and fell into a trap. I will give you six different situations that indicate that you may be in trouble. Top of the list, the more serious the situation you are in. Here we go. Number one, you can get a job that you could have gotten without the MA degree from the Jesus. Number two, you spend over five semesters to get your degree. Number three, you choose a thesis topic that has nothing to do with your career path or career track. Number four, your advisor has no ties to the career path you pursue. Number five, you have no clue about your thesis topic at the end of your second semester. Number six, you have not had any one-on-one -on -one meetings with the GCS faculty members discussing your career plan by the end of your first semester. If you are in any of these situations, you should revise your strategy, think again why you are in this program, what you want, and get your act together. Thank you.